guys, welcome to another tutorial video. This time I'll be showing you how to completely strip and refurb a fursuit head. Sky will be our subject today as she had a lot of amateur mistakes that severely impact how she looks and how nice she is to wear. So to start off, we need to remove the eyes of the suit. I'd like to keep the eyes the same shape, so I'll start by taking out the eye blanks from the head and putting them in a safe place. Next, I'll use scissors to carefully take off the side foam. Working in small snips will be best as you want to keep as much foam intact as possible. Next, start taking off the fur. I start work around the mouth area as it's where the fur isn't sewn to anything, but you can start from wherever you like. Just be super careful to again take off as little foam as possible. With the ears, I'm going to remove them completely as she will be getting completely new ears. And obviously you can change up the tutorial for your own personal refurb needs. I'm gonna make Sky a fresh bucket head base with a balaclava. I start by cutting the rectangle of foam for the base. For more detailed instructions on a bucket head base, check out my original first head tutorial. Now, to make the balaclava, which is effectively a head shirt, you just make a rounded cylinder of fabric and don't cut out any holes for the eyes and mouth. Take the square of foam, cut the holes for the eyes and mouth and glue onto the balaclava, working your way around to completely encase it. Then fold the top to meet in the middle. You might have to wait a while for it to for the glue to dry, but be patient. Then push the two points into the center and glue down. Once that's dry, cut away any of the remaining tabs and glue the edges together. Next I'm going to put it on my hat holder here and glue the remainder of Sky onto the bucket head. Once that's on I'm going to give Sky some new ears as I have improved my overall ear shape and it will help her look more like the wolf dog she is. So I patterned and cut a brand new set. I also add a layer around the edges for shape. Pin in place, apply glue and wait for the glue to dry, then remove the pins. I'm adding fleece around the base of the ear to help smooth it out as well as add durability and bounce. Next it's time for the eyes. I grab the old eye base and remove any outside glue. Then I trace it onto some thick paper. I would like to make the, her coloured part of the eye slightly bigger I think, so I trace a slightly bigger centre for the eye. 
Cut that out and trace it onto foamies using a pin. It's starting to sound familiar now, isn't it? Cut it out and grab some buckram and your paper trace. Paint the coloured part of the eye using the paper cutter as a guide. Wait for it to dry and glue onto the foam eye blank. Add the wall of the follow me eye by cutting out an even strip of foamies and gluing it around the edge of the eye to make a wall. Turn upside down, unplug your glue gun and let it cool down a bit and apply warm, not hot glue all over the back to reinforce the eye. Using hot, hot glue will make your foam bend away from the wall of the eye. Pull the balaclava fabric through the eye by cutting an X into it and pulling all four corners through and gluing down. Apply to the mouth as well. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on video, but you get the idea. Glue your eyes in once again, cooling your glue gun so that foam doesn't warp. I also add the little sparkles in the eyes now so they're even. And now your head is ready for tape. Cover the entire head in duct tape, trying to get it as smooth as possible. Also tape over the nose as we will pattern this later. Draw on your markings and divide the head into segments. Your muzzle, lower jaw, cheeks, brows, forehead, inside ear, outer ear and back of head. Number all your pieces, write down what colour it is and mark the direction of the fur. Remove it all from the head. Cut into each piece so it lays flat, tracing around each piece and numbering what piece you just took off on the head. Place onto some paper to remove the sticky from it and then cut them all out. You are now ready for fur. Trace all of your pattern pieces onto fur 
taking careful note of the fur direction. I split my pieces into pieces that have to be long and pieces that have to be short. All the short pieces are pre-shaved before they are cut out. I use a 10 blade to chop off most of what needs to be shaved down later. I'm using Minky for the nose. Cut out the rest of the fur pieces and grab a needle and thread and get sewing. This includes all of Sky's spots. I sew all of the white stuff together before adding the spots in. This takes quite a while so we enjoy the music in the meantime. You'll notice I cut her spots out after all the main parts are sewn, this is so I don't lose any spots. Also excuse my ridiculous amount of procrastination. You want to start lining the muzzle. Glue some minky into the bottom and upper jaws so that it goes over the lip and meets where your lining starts inside your head. 
Once your pelt is sewn together, take a bit of glue on the very edge of all the raw edges on your fur. Fold over the edges the slightest bit so the raw edges are folded over and glued. My camera went kind of stupid here, but there's nothing I can do to fix it since these time-lapse tutorials are very much a one-take one only thing. Then you can start by gluing down the nose and working your way outwards. Take your time with this as you don't want any wrinkles in the fur. Keep working around to the back of the head and leaving the cheek bit open. I do a bit of a preemptive shave here because I wasn't happy with how she was looking, so I check to see if anything needs re-gluing by shaving it down a touch. Next, apply glue to your ears and roll the fur down around it. Now it's time to start the shave. I use a 7FC or 7 blade for the majority of my shaves, but I will also use a 10 for shorter areas. Take your time and I recommend the use of a vacuum. <laughs> it may not look the best at first, but we are about to make this suit go from scrub tier to, yeah, all right tier. <laughs> Once you're semi-satisfied with your shave, take the black foamies and trace around the paper base you had before. Trace an outline a little bit in and a little bit out from where your original line is. Add eyelashes if the character is female and cut out. I take some scissors to the edges to remove any excess fluff that might be entering the eye. For some reason I decided that now would be a great time to sew the edges of the fur together, so take your needle and sew where you haven't sewn your fabric together yet, so the cheek and around the, each of the ears. I also glued the outline on too. Geez, that was a bit of a mess that day. To sew your hair, cut a triangle of fur and sew the two sides together. Turn right side out, pop some stuffing in the hair and sew closed. Then glue or sew the tuft onto your head. 
I also glue some Velcro into Sky's mouth for her tongue. Sew the balaclava fabric to the fur by trimming it and stitching around the edges. Sorry for the blown out footage here, my auto ISO doesn't like Sky very much. Take a measurement of the fur at the base of the head, divide that by two and use that as the width of your neck pieces. I generally make the longest point around 9 inches and the shortest around 4. Make your shape have a main triangular neck bit and then two small squares on the side that sit to your shoulders. Cut out both of these and sew around the base of the head, lining up the front triangle with the front of the head. and we are done. Fix any small mistakes you see and you're ready to go. Hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was comprehensive. And the fan art feature of the week is from Emily Creative, who did me this amazing badge. Just look at it, isn't it great? So I'll flash a bunch of their other examples across the screen here and be sure to go give her a follow at Emily underscore creative over on Twitter and Thanks you guys for watching and I will see you next time.